So today I picked up a massive ass load of old tube hi-fi gear. Uh, probably one of the biggest scores I've had in some of a couple of years. So this came about when somebody posted about an old console stereo they were giving away in one of my Facebook groups. I messaged them and it turns out they had much, much more equipment. Then I spoke to, it turns out his father was an avid collector of uh, vintage electronics and he had been collecting since the 1950s. They wanted the stuff gone, they were sick of looking at it, and it was just one of those deals where the moon and the stars all were in alignment, and I got an amazing, amazing haul of equipment. Ended up filling the car three different times. Uh, the second time I went back, went up into the attic where I was discovering boxes of old vintage tube fisher equipment. It had been sitting up there for so long that I was touching the boxes and they were literally just breaking and falling apart in my hands, but I found some amazing stuff up there as well. This was a heck of a collection, an amazing, an amazing, amazing collection. Uh, the man passed away about a year ago, and like I said, the family just wanted the stuff gone. They knew it probably had some value. They just didn't care if they wanted it out of their lives and gone. Between three different carloads, I managed to pick up over 100 pieces of equipment. A lot of folks think things like this just don't happen anymore, but the thing is, these scores do still exist. They are still out there, and all you got to do is know how to look for it and just go get it. It's all out there. All you got to do is go get it even crazier about this incredible score is that it cost me next to nothing. I paid more in gas money than it did to actually acquire the stuff. He told me to give him 50 bucks and fill the car, and I did that three different times. So I'd say it was a pretty darn good deal, <laughs> for sure.